Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, and I am so excited because today I'm doing something that I wanted to do for a really long time, and just getting the time to do it this spring has been a little difficult, but here we are. I'm gonna be showing you how to plant some asparagus in containers. Now, why am I doing this when asparagus is a perennial and it takes a few years to harvest and all of that, and I'm only gonna be living here for a year or two? Well, I'll tell you, I've got two reasons. One of them is, is something that I really wanted to show you guys as part of Shed Wars. Shed Wars 2022, I am on a Team Aquarius, and part of what Shed Wars Global Gardening is, is showing people how to grow gardens, how to grow your own food, how to be self-sufficient, all while growing as much food as you can for your family. There is a little bit of a competition in it going on. Like I said, I am on Team Aquarius, and we've got uh, somewhere 25 or 30 different teams on each team. There's Team Aquarius, Team Will It Grow. So I figured this would be a really great thing to show you guys that growing asparagus in containers can be done. Now it is a little difficult because asparagus, being a perennial, can grow anywhere from 15 to 20 years or more because it will also keep reseeding itself and growing the patch. So growing it in containers can be very difficult and it does shorten their lifespan. Whereas you can get 20 years on a plant in the ground. With the way that roots grow on asparagus plants, maybe five years in a container like this. Now to grow asparagus, you do need a very large container because as I said, it needs a lot of room for growth being that it is a perennial. Those roots on asparagus are aggressive so this if I can lift it pardon me for a second is an 18 gallon storage tub it is food safe this is um, plastic grade 5 so it can hold up to temperature swings um, and it is safe for direct contact with food so you can grow these um, in this tub I got this from Walmart for about six dollars I uh, drilled some holes all around the bottom, I think probably about 15, 20 holes, just to make sure there's enough drainage. So it's deep, it's wide, and we're gonna plant some asparagus in here. And the hope is that in 2023, 2024, I'm buying my own property and I can take this and I can transplant it into the ground and have three-year-old asparagus ready to go. I'm gonna take you in a little closer now so I can show you the asparagus and show you the planting method. So these are one-year-old asparagus crowns and I got these at Tractor Supply. These are Jersey Night asparagus. And so I should have, when I take these apart, three crowns. Did I get a bonus? Did I get four? Oh no, this one's just really big. <laughs> this is one crown, that's good. I like to see that. But you can see at just one year old, how vigorous and thick and strong these roots are. They're almost a foot long. So that's why you wanna make sure that they are really, really uh, well hydrated when you put them into the ground and that you have a really large container. So we've got these soaking here in a bowl. And I'm gonna, let's see, one, two. So I got one big crown, one medium sized crown, and one little baby crown. And then because I can't resist anything purple, I got some purple passion asparagus. Let's see what we've got for those. We've got one really nice monster sized crown. And two kind of baby crowns. I also did get a bag of Mary Washington asparagus. The thing is, I don't have another bag of soil, so they're gonna have to wait until I can go out, pick up another bag, and uh, fill this one too. By the way, to fill this 18 gallon storage tub, I actually needed one whole two cubic foot bag of soil. So I used ProMix, while those soak a little bit more, I'm gonna talk about the importance of your potting soil. You wanna make sure that you've got a good solid potting mix. You don't wanna just use garden soil or raised bed soil. You wanna use something that is potting specific. Anytime that you have 
a plant growing in a container, you want to make sure that you are using a potting specific mix because it's going to have the right drainage and it's going to allow you to just have that moisture flow out instead of getting all compacted and things like that, which is what garden soil um, it's a little too heavy to put in a container like this because it's just not going to drain properly. Another thing that I did to prep this soil is I did mix in about two cups of Trifecta Plus uh, because that's the fertilizer I have at the moment. I got it from MI Gardener. It's a really great all-purpose fertilizer and so I mixed in about two cups because asparagus you see those roots, they're big, they're aggressive, they are hungry. They are very aggressive feeders so you want to make sure that you have a good amount of fertilizer there in the soil. All right, so these have been soaking for a while, so now I'm going to just take you in a bit closer and show you how we plant them here in the container. So these have been soaking for a while. I'm gonna take my largest asparagus, I'm gonna plant it right in the center. So here you have the asparagus crown right here at the top and all these vigorous roots. Asparagus are a bit different to their things like strawberries. Strawberries, you don't want to bury the crown because you will get crown rot. With asparagus, you do want to put these below the surface. So, easiest way to do this is you can dig a nice hole, nice deep. And like I said, I've already mixed in the fertilizer into this soil. But then you're kind of going to build a mound in the center. <laughs> of course, all my soil just keeps falling right in. <laughs> so then we're going to kind of spread this out like a little octopus. And I'm going to set that right on top of the mound like that. Let these roots get down in there. And then come in and cover the crown with about half an inch or so of soil. And it's that simple. Um, now in a container like this, you should probably put uh, three, maybe four asparagus in here, but I push the limits as always. And so I'm gonna crowd it a bit because some of these crowns are very small and I'm gonna go with five. <laughs> And that's actually really only because I don't have this other tub ready and I don't want to just like, I've already soaked these and I don't want them to, you know, just be soaking for too long. So, get my little octopus here. Pop him down into the ground, cover him over. So yeah, maybe not helping them so much by crowding them, but I mean, I think that's just going to add more pressure to me, like needing to get out and find my property <laughs> because it'll just be just that extra push of, hey, I got to get these asparagus transplanted into the ground or they're only going to last me three, four or five years. There we go. Octopus, no, octopus number three. Woo. Let's see, this is the purple passion. So I'm just digging a moat. Make it my little octopus. That is a big old crown. So I also figure that, you know, this way at least, say if uh, not all of these crowns make it and, and, um, and sprout for me, well, I've got insurance. And I'm just going to see which is the best of these two. This one is barely there. 
So I'm going to take this one here. I think what I ended up with is um, three of the Purple Passion and two of the Jersey Night. And uh, this little guy, I think I'll just throw in a pot upstairs for now. And then when I have the other soil and I plant the Mary Washingtons, we'll just go ahead and put them all in this other container together. And then the water that I had them soaking in, we don't want to waste that. So we'll use that to help water these guys in. And it's going to rain tonight too, so this should... Uh, I mean, it's already fairly moist, but that'll help. There we go. Started to pop up there. I think maybe I planted that a little shallow, but that's okay. Some important tips for growing asparagus is that you do not want to harvest it in the first two years at all. So that first year that they were just tiny little ferns and growing, uh, that was year one. Now we have one-year-old crowns. Those are going to grow up and I am not going to harvest any of them this year. I'm going to let them grow and grow their big old ferns and wait for those to die back and then I will cut them down because what those ferns are doing is they are collecting all sorts of energy, putting it down into the crown and then helping it to make it through the winter and come back next year. Next year will be year three and I'm undecided if I'm going to harvest them or not. I'm gonna just see how they come up, um, if they make it through the winter in a container. Uh, one of the things that I will do this winter is uh, as, it's, as the season's winding down, I will give them a good feed. Um, I'll probably just scratch in some more of my Trifecta Plus. And so that will give them a little more energy and help them out in the spring. Again, in spring, I will give them another feed and when they pop up, maybe I'll harvest next year, maybe I will not. Um, it all depends on kind of how they do this year and how prolific they seem to be coming up next year. And even then, I would probably only harvest just a few spears just uh, to get a taste of my own asparagus. But I really want to concentrate on them building some good healthy roots in here because they're not going to survive terribly long unless I'm able to transplant them out. So that's going to be what I do there. And then in winter also, I'll be covering these with a heavy amount of leaf mulch. I will probably pile as many leaves around the storage tubs as I can. Um, that will help them, these roots, to be below the frost line and to survive till next year. So it'll keep them nicely insulated. So I will keep you updated through the year as these asparagus grow. I'll show you when they germinate, how they're growing, uh, how big those ferns get because it's crazy. Like they get so tall and big and so hopefully we have some really good success with these but that is the method for planting in containers it just getting make sure you keep them nicely fertilized keep them insulated so that they keep well over winter i will see you guys in our next video check out the other videos in the shed wars education series that's shed wars global gardening 22 check it out lots of information lots of great channels and i will see you guys in our next video while we grow wicked awesome food from yard to table Bye bye